authentic porchetta involves deboning and rolling a whole pig. My version uses those same flavors, rosemary, garlic, fennel, lemon zest, but I do it on a bone-in pork shoulder, much easier, and you still get that crackling skin on top. When you buy a pork shoulder, it's gonna come exactly like this. See, there's the bone. And the skin will be solid. It won't have these scores in it, but in order to get that crackle, you wanna take your knife and you just wanna score it. And if you happen to get your meat from a butcher, have your butcher do this for you because it'll save you time and they have sharper knives than you do. I'm gonna take fennel seed, red pepper flakes, fennel fronds, free when you buy a fennel bulb. Sage, adds kind of a woodsy note. Lots of garlic. You could, since we're in a mortar and pestle, just add the cloves and pound them up. You need a lot of salt for this because it's a big hunk of meat. And then you wanna just do this for a while. If you were using a food processor, it would be done like that. And then you just wanna massage this great paste into the meat, especially into where I've cut. And that's it. This is ready to sit in your fridge overnight. So this has been marinated and it is ready to go in the pan. Skin side up because all of this needs to turn brown and crackly. You want this to sit at room temperature for about an hour, maybe two hours before you put it in the oven. I will see you soon. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Brown, crackly, Oh, smells amazing. I'm just gonna take its temperature. If you want it to slice neatly, you cook it to 180. If you want it to just fall apart, you cook it to anything above 195. And that is perfect. Did I mention that the cracklings were the best part? Mm -hmm.